Let's talk chronographs. Welcome to another episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. And what I have here is the three different chronographs that I own. Yes, I know there's uh, other chronographs on the market. Caldwell has one. I don't have that particular one or the the Alpha F1 that folds. I, I used to have one of those, but there was something that malfunctioned on it and I ended up throwing that in the garbage. But these are the three that I currently own. We got the Competition Electronics Pro Chrono DLX Bluetooth. You gotta just download their app. So if you got a, a tablet or onto your smart or smartphone or your iPhone, you download the app and this one in my opinion is the nicest chrono graph that I own. Now there is an optional lighting kit which is like 50 bucks and I was just on eBay just to look up some of the prices on on not eBay but Amazon and that's what a light light kit uh, costs and yeah, it was what comes in a kit is uh, four bars, these four middle bars, and diffusers that go over it. This is a lighting kit that I have on it, and I have it outside. And usually, when I use uh, the competition electronics one, I always have it turned on. The lighting kit, because sometimes the lighting is not it's not right, or or you have bright days, and sometimes it will read, and sometimes it won't. So. What I just did was every time I go to use the Pro Chrono, I just went ahead and uh, turned on the light kit. And that eliminated any possibility of you know, guessing whether or not the lighting is correct or not. And it's worked for the most part every time that I've used this Pro Chrono. And, and it records it right to your phone and you can uh, email it or text it to someone if you want. Um, I got this last year. Oh, this is a, a two-year warranty. And I, I like this particular brand only because uh, they've been around for 40 years. So I think they've got it pretty well sewed up in the market. You know, uh, what they're doing it uses a 9-volt battery, which is stored underneath here. Underneath this, this cover here, 9-volt. There's your uh, on-off. There's where you can uh, hook it onto a tripod, quarter 20. Screw it right onto the tripod, which I have right here. I just took it off just to have it on this table to show you guys the different chronos on the market. Another one of my favorite ones that I use right here is this one here, the X-Core Tech M3 3200 X3200. Back to this one again. Just want to make, uh, make uh, tell you folks that this one is actually made in USA. They're in Illinois, I think Rockford, Illinois. Great customer service. Um, just had a recent uh, iPhone iOS update to my iPhone, and I, I contacted them last week about. You know, I told him, I said, hey, I, I went ahead and updated my iOS for my iPhone, and it was not giving me the voice. You know, every time I shot it, I would, I would have a voice that would read the, the FPS. And uh, they said that they get, they're working on a new update for their software. And that's uh will be coming out so that I would get that voice that tells me what the FPS is so their the customer service is outstanding I, I really uh, believe in their products as I've had this uh, for a while and it's never let me down uh, neither has this one here now this one is you can get it on on eBay as well as Amazon is around 64 bucks. I have one of these in the Philippines. 
I left it there for when I'm there in the Philippines. But this one is a uh, pretty nice uh, setup here. This one will read, doesn't matter what you throw at it, whether there's a baseball, I wouldn't do baseball, but just an example. Shoot a rubber band across, uh, you know, between the two metal bars, you know, you got these light sensors or sensors on both ends and it'll tell you exactly uh, what your speed is. And same thing for this one here, you know, this is portable. It's also got the, the slot here. And this one takes, uh, let's see, uh, there you go, two AA batteries. Slide that back on here. And you can mount it on the tripod. Like that, it screws right on. Or if you got a, a mini one on a table, you can screw it onto the table or a small tripod that sits on top of the table. But yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, chronograph, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money. This one here is like 147 on Amazon, not including the 50 bucks for the lighting kit. So you got uh, close to 200 bucks. This one is a 64 and it doesn't need anything, you know, just turn it on and you put the muzzle in through this opening right here and you shoot right through it. And it gives you uh, the speeds. And every now and then I'll have a problem with it, you know, not registering, but you know, I just re reshoot it again and it usually reads. Now, this one here is close to $200. Made in Taiwan, made in China. This one here is my problem child. This has been back to FX this year. Um, I don't know if it's a software issue or what the deal is. They, they told me that, well, I have to use lithium, uh, three lithium AAA batteries. and. Lithium batteries, let me tell you, it's they're not cheap. And they don't last long. And sure it's compact and all, you know, and yeah, it's the latest technology. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, this is a piece of well, piece of crap. I hate to say it, but you know, some of you boys and girls out there is gonna be mad for me saying that, but hey, I'm just telling like it is. It works when it wants to work. And that's what's so disappointing about this uh, FX chronograph. You know, I, I don't know. And it only goes up to, to uh, the max speed FPS is 1,099. So really, this is made for only air guns, which I understand, but I need it. I need it for you know need it to work when it when I need it, and it doesn't. So, but when it does work, it's it's okay. But I, I guess uh, the, the, the downside to this is the three triple A lithium batteries. You know. And I realize it's portable. Well, this is portable too. You know, this is somewhat portable. But you know, I would think that you know, like for me, anyways, if you're having an issue with your gun, or you need to uh, lower the FPS because of a certain shooting situation, that this one right here would do just as good of a job. You know to tell you where your FPS is at or you know if you're trying to tune your gun I think any one of these will do the job but I need it to do it reliably all the time and that isn't this you know anyways I don't know I know everybody raves about this uh, FX 
chronograph, but I'm not impressed. Not at all. But let's uh, take it and uh, give you some uh, readings off, the, off of all three. Let you uh, make up your mind which one you think works the best. Okay, I'm going to try to do two at once. The Pro Chrono DLX and X... That's Cortec. I'm just gonna sit you sit you down so I can go ahead and record or let you know what the shots are. S Cortex says it's 916. The Pro Chrono says it's 927. S Cortex says it's uh, 913. Pro Chrono is 929. S Cortex is 924 to 927. Nine twelve to nine twenty five, nine eleven to nine twenty four. So that's the difference. We're talking 911 to 924. We're, we're looking at uh, almost uh, 12 feet per second. Difference. Now we're going to check out the FX. Now we got the FX Crony. No read. It's connected. Great. Yeah. What's wrong with this piece of crap? Still no read. Okay, let's see. Let me go to lowest settings and uh, return. See if that maybe that'll work that way. Okay, try it again. Still won't read. Five hundred twenty seven eight point eight. No, that's not reading correctly. Well, don't know what's wrong with this. Uh, let's see, profile. Okay, it was on UK, 
So let me try uh, the high power mode. Maybe that's what it is. Doubt it, but. Try it again. Well, I can't get it to read, so. And this is one of the reasons, and I, I you know, I do have the lithium batteries in it. I don't know why it's not reading. Let me uh, shut it off. FX Coney, turn it back on. Connect. Try it again. This time out of pellets. All right. We'll do three shots here and see what happens. All right, here we go. Nothing. Well, I can't test it for you folks. I don't know what's wrong with it. I got a minimum return of 10%. Let me go to the lowest setting and see if I can't get it to read now. Nope. All right, so it doesn't want to work. So there you have it. The FX Coney is a piece of crap. I'm not afraid to admit it. it doesn't want to work. Maybe it's just too cold out and it's uh, cold sensitive like, like I am. I don't know. But there you have it, folks. If I was you, I would not. 1,065.36.0. If I was you, folks, I would not even... 1,065. 36.0 Ignore that. It's glitching out. If I was you folks, I would not even consider buying one of these FX piece of crap cronies. Not worth the $200. Go buy yourself a Pro Chrono or DLX from Competition Electronics. That's your best bet. Or even this uh, Escort Tech, even though it's a 13 FPS uh, difference, which is still not bad, it still gets you in the ballpark. It's going to tell you if you're, you know, close enough to what you're, uh, you know, trying to get your gun dialed into. At least uh, the Escort Tech, at least that one works is better than this uh, FX Crony laugh out loud but yes that is a piece of crap right there buy one of these folks you'll be a lot more happier point seven well now I was trying to read and it's I hadn't shot it or even this one or even the Caldwell. One thousand. Look at that. Ninety-five. Glitching out on me. Shut up. One. There you have it, folks. Sharon is caring. Everything you need to know about chronographs. I tell you that the two that do work is my 
Competition Electronics DLX or my Escort Tech. I can tell you which one it doesn't work. You see that brand right there? Works when it wants to. And I don't want to hear is because uh, I didn't use the right batteries. I did. I gave it every chance it, I can give it. Even sent it back to uh, FX to see what the hell was wrong with this piece of junk. And the FX crony is a piece of junk. Works when it wants to. Sharing is caring. Folks, stay safe. Shoot straight. May Apollo hit his target. And see you in the next episode of Air Guns and Pest and Channel. See ya.